Yo guys, what is up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft server, but not any normal Minecraft server, a spigot server. Which means you can put all those awesome plugins and stuff on it. So, links to everything will be in the description. So make sure you go read that. But you're going to come to this website and click on the newest version, hit download, and click this. And I'm not going to do that because I've already downloaded it to save time. And then you're going to click here and make a new folder. Call it whatever you want. I'm just going to say server for the sake of it. And then we're going to drag. Oh crap. I think I clicked that. That's bad. Yeah, I did. Don't do that. Don't click it before you put it in there. Okay, so we're going to move it into the server folder. And then we're going to make a text document right here and call it start.bat. And then we're going to open. And you're going to want to copy this code, which will be in the description, into here. And then file, save as, start. just put another thing there and then we're gonna change it to all files and save and there we got it the only reason you need to put the extra T on the end so it registers that's not the same type of file so you can just come in here and delete that one extra character if you want and then you can just get rid of this right here we no longer need that so just gonna quickly delete all that so now we're gonna click this it's going to open up this. It's going to open up a little command thing. And what you're going to want to do is come into the OOLA and go and set it to true. Sorry if you can hear my keyboard. And then click save. And then hit start again. Wait for it to be done. When it says preparing spawn area done, it will be fine. 58 and see right there done so now we can just close out of that and we're going to come into our server properties or just server and you can name your world here which I'm I guess I'll do uh, server just because I can't think and this isn't a must but when you're using plugins a lot of them will trigger the whole flight thing so you're just going to want to allow flight if you're going to use any plugins that are like bouncing or whatever. And then you can leave this the same. And level type default, you can change that if you want to like ampl amplify it, not ample. Uh, and put in a level seed, I'm not going to do any of that. And here, you're just going to do 0 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. And then you're going to come into... Let's look. Anything else? Yes. If this is false for some reason, you're going to want to make that true. And right here you can change your difficulty. Right here you can disable PvP. But here, down here you can name it. Whatever you want it to say in the description when you click on the server. So we're just going to do server. Oops. Server. And this I really recommend if you're using like more than four plugins changing this to 5 and then you can hit save and exit out and then we're gonna come and start it again and quickly pop up my minecraft so while that launches we can just watch the server console. Multiplayer. And then you're going to want to do add server. You can name it whatever you want up there. And type in 0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 if you're the host. And come down. 
and it will log you in. So, if you can tell, this is on a server, and it's the server. I'll even prove it. Right here's the console. Say hi. See, reacts to the game. And everything is working. Now keep in mind, you're gonna have to port forward. You will have to port forward this server. So you're gonna go into your settings. It will be something, well, I'll just show you. Uh, CMD, open command prompt up and do IP config. And right here where it says default gateway, you're gonna wanna copy that into your uh, web browser and go into the settings and do port forwarding and port forward 25565. So, and then what you'll do is you'll give this to your friends. Let's ip.org. You'll be giving this to your friends. Please no one join my server. Please, please no. But you'll be joining the IP address that is displayed here. I actually may just blank this up, but probably not because I'm too lazy. But, um, you'll be giving your friends this IP. So I'll leave this in the description too. Just put it there so I can remember. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If this helped you out at all, please subscribe and put in the comment section that you liked it or something. I like to hear from you.